Today, we are in Esther chapter 3, and we see here that Haman, who is a descendant of the Malachites, is angry that Mordecai will not bow down to him and pay tribute. We know that the Amalekites have plagued the Jews from the time they crossed the Red Sea. We see their hatred for God's people in Scripture throughout the Old Testament. See, King Saul disobeyed God by not killing all of them in 1 Samuel 15, when he left King Agag alive. David fought with them with his mighty men after they had raided his camp and took his family. The Amalekites had an ongoing hatred for the Jews, and we see that resurfacing here again with Haman not feeling honored by Mordecai. So Haman finds out that Mordecai is a Jew and plots to kill all of the Jews. Haman puts together this plan and we see him manipulating the king into going along with this plan. Okay, but wait, we have seen that God has already been working and setting the stage with Esther now being the queen. See, this is one of the amazing historical drama that's unfolding right before us. It's about to get good, but listen, we see all of this from 30,000 feet. Imagine being a Jew in that time, and all this is happening in real time. See, there's got to be confusion, fear, and uncertainty. Do you have those moments in your life? Are you in one of those moments now? Those times when you're asking God, what is going on? Everything was headed one direction, and today seems wrecked with confusion and disappointment. See, I want you to hear something today that I learned in my life. Nothing is wasted in God's kingdom. Every situation or feeling of being sideswiped by life is a chance for God to move. See, we know this scripture so well, but let's meditate on this today. Romans 8:28 says, and we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. I look back on my life and I see God setting me up even when I wasn't seeking his will. His love for me and you is to always draw us to himself and for us to bring him glory. God's love for his people goes beyond anything we could ever imagine. Never think that what is happening to you or around you is God not loving you. In Romans chapter 8, verse 38, it says this, And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, nor angels nor demons, Neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or on the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord.